guys welcome back again to my channel in case you need a hi my name is bukola and if you're returning what's up how are you doing i hope you're keeping safe and i hope you're enjoying this period let's just try and do one or two things to make us stay positive as always so today's video i will be talking about skin white patches actually i have two most requested video which is the skin tag and white patches on the skin and today i'll be breaking it down for you guys why you are having white patches on your skin what you need to stop and other things you have to take note of so please i really want you to sit down and watch this video so you don't keep making the same mistake or even i have a lot of people that are telling me they want to start making their own skincare product themselves you need this video so you don't start making some mistakes that you're not supposed to make so today i will be talking about white patches and i know of three things that i know you can use that will help you get rid of that but before we go into the three things that you can use what are those things that cause your skin to start having white patches? number one that i know and i know it is very very common and i know it is like 80 percent cause of white patches especially in nigeria or in africa is too much of ash chemicals in your skin products please i am begging please know what you are using know what you're feeding your skin the same way you're always like very very careful with the food you eat please be even much more careful with the stuff you put on your skin do you understand so a lot of skin a lot of white patches today is because of ash chemicals like ash things that are into that are inside your cream or your soap Please be very careful. Why I'm saying this is because a lot of promising class. Okay, come and learn skincare with 1,000 Naira. Come and learn skincare with 2,000 Naira. I have seen tons of um, sponsored, sponsored ads like that on Instagram. And trust me, it's not even funny. Come and learn how to make your organic product yourself with 1,000 Naira. Really? If it's like that, then everybody should go into the skincare business. And they will tell you come and learn how to make organic skincare products with 1000 and trust me if you are watching this video and you have ever come across such or you have ever subscribed for that let me tell you in one way or the other you will notice it is always from natural to synthetic natural to all this pro mixing it is basically pro mixing what they will always tell you what to add to a caro caro white that already, that already contains hydroquinine so basically that is not that is not going to be helpful for you know what you're feeding on your skin i have you that will always had uh what's it called shampoo to their to their um, black soap which is not supposed to be like that why will you add shampoo to your black soap yeah it's effective but most times it causes white parties and that's what i keep telling you that you should know your skin I keep saying it on this video you cannot work with some natural oils and have skin reactions that's what i do that is my own secret i work a lot with oil whenever i get whenever i go to get stuff for my skin i get a lot of oils that i know that okay this thing is not going to harm my skin i showed you some in my videos like okay when i was when i got to abuja and i noticed that this thing that i used to buy for 1000 naira i them for like 400 naira in abuja i bought six like i even packed them see i have to pack them can you see can you guys see i have to pack them because i know they are safe i have my hagan hoy with me i have um i have castor hoy with me i have um turmeric hoy that's why for you to even know that i'm in love with turmeric i have turmeric hoy with me and to be honest be safe just work with stuff that you know they are safe i shared with you a contact of somebody that i know that sells um natural and organic oils that are very much affordable please do well check him out patronize him you're going to love your skin so whenever you are using whenever you are using um any cream or hand so be very very mindful of what you are putting on your skin please stop damaging your skin i am begging you stop damaging your skin do you not know the problem is that when you have not bleached your skin you people have bleached your skin 
they now want to go back to your normal skin especially some clients they now want to go back to their normal skin then when you now come and start giving them stuff to repair their skin and they start getting darker then they start coming with a lot of complaint you were not light naturally you only came to repair your skin we are going to give you a repair cream which is going to give you back your normal color then you can start up again with a natural product no you want to repair your skin and get light how is that possible like tell me how it's not going to end in peace how okay there's another client that will tell you that okay well, i want to repair my skin with lightning products <sighs> why those are part of the things that start causing white patches on your skin please be very careful so now let's move to the stuff that i know that can help you get rid of your white patches number one is aloe vera i know aloe vera is very common and aloe vera you can always see even if you don't have it in your house at least one or one or two people will have it in your area you can as well plug it and just rub aloe vera gel on that place you have white patches and let me tell you that white patches grows like little by little before it becomes a very broad patch there and once you notice you have white patches immediately start getting a remedy for it please don't leave it till it now becomes big on your skin so you know if you treat it as fast as it's coming out you're going to like get rid of it very fast so try as much as possible not to leave it alone one immediately you notice it make sure you tackle it don't leave it on your skin so number one on my list is aloe vera gel which i know is the normal um, home remedy that you can use is the aloe vera gel then number two on my list is pharmadem pharmadem too is also good pharmadem is always good it's an antiseptic cream so it's going to help you get rid of your white patches so you can as well get pharmadem you're going to see pharmadem you're going to get pharmadem at the pharmacy or even any nearby cosmetic shop you you definitely get it so you can also get pharmadem to treat your white patches okay you can get ym pharmadem to treat your white patches and just apply it pharmadem is, is an antiseptic cream it has um sulfur in it and it's really good even some people even use it for their pimple cream or other skin reactions because even it contains sulfur even my own soap the last soap that i made the finished product of that black soap i made in my previous video i added sulfur to my soap i have always been adding sulfur to my soap read more on sulfur read more on stuff that sulfur does to the body then the third one i want to talk about is endix g this is a tube cream it's a tube cream but i i want to tell you that this cream is very very safe it doesn't contain glue better so it is mainly to tackle skin reaction it is an antibiotics that you are going to get at the pharmacy so if you know you have white patches also go for endix, endix g cream so you can as well use it so let me now tell you in the process of you using all these things don't tell me you want to cure your white patches or you want to get rid of your white patches and you still keep using that same product sis hey be very careful you have to stop using that product even if you want the remedy product to work so once you know that okay this thing is giving you white patches immediately please straight away or burn it it's not good for your skin and let me tell you there are some product that you might use and it will not give you anything not even a single dot on your skin and if i use them i'm going to regret using them doesn't mean the product is not good it's not just working for my skin and that's why you want to, you have to understand your skin especially those that want to start making their skincare product themselves know your recipe very well know what your skin wants know how the in-depth information about whatever thing you're going to be feeding your skin on please let's be very very careful with everything we're feeding our skin on skin patches is something that i particularly i don't like so and there are, there are like two type of skin patch there's one that okay is like it's a bit rough like i don't know how to explain it it's not white yet i'll put the picture it's not white yet it's, it's like a dark skin patch let me tell you that once you notice that thing that rough thing that is like how can i say that i don't know it's like one rough circle you guys should see the picture there if you notice something like this take your tea tree you see if the very first time you notice it and you don't even have any of this pharmadem any of this aloe vera or any of this ndg at home quickly take your tea tree oil and just put rose water 
and mix it together and just clean that surface to make the thing start getting dry. Please, they, I have talked about it. There are some things that you have to have at home. Tea tree oil is a must. See, this is another bottle that I have not even opened because I have the one I'm using. I make sure I always stock up on tea tree oil so that once I see any pimples, I I just put it on it. And if you notice my skin has changed drastically because just, you will notice me I was complaining about um environment, water and all of that. I was patient. Down to my last two videos, you can still see like two or three pimples on my forehead. It's normal. So guys, make sure you know what you are feeding your skin. Please stay away from chemicals. Stay away from adding shampoo to your soap. Stay away from adding relaxers to your soap. Some people go down to the fact of adding soap creams, whitening soap creams to their soap. Please let us know what we are doing. Oh, yes, it will end in peace. Please, let us know what we are doing. Oh. Okay, with this, I have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, share, and also subscribe. Share my link with your friends that you think might need this. And don't forget to always turn on your post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you in my next video. Bye.